three, two, one. Boosh. How you got a little smoke out of that one? Oh my God, that's cold. Wee woo. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast. <laughs> Coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles You Betcha Guy here with Ryan, the squirrely guy. We are live in the Troy Escalade Jackson Podcast Memorial Podcast Studio, as well as the Finn Diesel Memorial Producer Room. Glass Bowl. Mm-hmm. We are presented by the one, the only Ice Mountain. Oh, yeah. And we are live. No. We are rolling. Motherfuckers. No way. <laughs> yeah. What? That's we got a, a button now? Banger. I just figured it out. Me and Tyler just figured it out. <laughs> and when did you install this? About half hour ago. Yep. Okay. God, so, that had to have been a tough 30 minutes. I had to tell me about it. <laughs> so what's that used for? For this? Yeah. Or like, like someone got to have a banger. Right. It'd be like, or, it'd be like, Jake finally lost his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, say a really bad joke. I got one coming up, so we'll, okay. we'll, just, we'll yeah. I okay, got one be ready. Up. I know you're going to have a I, I hope I got the right button. For that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, the buttons are definitely not memorized no, yet. No, not yet. Okay, this is a new wrinkle. Mm-hmm. Uh, fun fact, guys, the longer we have this, we can put in custom ones as we grow. What do you mean as we grow? Well, as we come up with more bits. Like, we could have one that's like, Jared, for example, said we could have one that's it's Nick Cage being like, I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Why do Why do we have to wait longer for that? Oh, it's just more of a process. To get yeah. Going. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. It's, it's more I didn't know. It sounded like we were playing a video game. We had to like unlock more mm. yeah. slots on the board. Yeah, yeah. What it felt like. It's like the free trial runs out, and then we'll consider paying for it. If we do, then we can unlock. Then we get more. three yeah. more slots. Well, yeah. we can't put old bits in. We got to come up with new bits moving forward. So new biddies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even the joke. That was a that was a good one though. That I won't abuse it. That one's long. <laughs> nice. Not abusing it. Can we have a button where you click it and it just plays the entire Bird Box episode? Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> could, actually. up to two hour recordings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever we get a whenever we get a dumb Patreon question, we'll just play that episode. And say you have to sit through this because you <laughs> asked this question. We uh, silently. You know what we should actually do? We have. The very first introductions from episode one of you two just sounding very scared to do a podcast. I don't think that'd that be a good one. I mean, I don't think either of us were scared. I'll play the clip. I mean, you guys were also probably still in diapers when we were doing that. Yeah, that that's was a true. long time ago. It was actually uh, in podcast hours about 11.1 hours ago. Days. Days. Days ago. Yeah. yeah I was going to say well, guys, we are back. Um, I actually this week had a first time experience. Uh-huh. It's not very often you get a first time thing and uh, very weird thing, too. I don't even know how we ended up here, but it was my mom's birthday last week. Happy birthday, mom. Mm, happy birthday. Uh, we went out to dinner. We had some drinks. And for some reason... There was a joke thrown around about having another drink after dinner and martinis came up. Mm. And I don't remember why or how. They're an after dinner drink. Yeah. I don't know if that was like we were joking about being fancy and doing a certain drink and martini came up. So then I said, well, I've actually never had a martini before. And so... Last week, I had my first ever martini. How dirty was it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, Jared. Oh! <laughs> was, it, was it filthy? So that's where I maybe need some clarification. So I think it was dirty. It was okay. a dirty martini. I don't know how extra dirty it was. I don't know if it was dirty or naughty or what, but... <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I have no fucking clue why martinis are considered fancy. I found out that a martini is just olive juice and vodka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is the least fancy thing (laughs) I've ever heard of. Yeah. It could be the cheapest drink of all time, too. That just sounds like something Dave 
from my dad's work would drink on a regular basis. Yeah. He'd think- take a swig of Karkoff and a swig of olive juice. <laughs> yeah. He would do it on accident and like think he came up with it. Yeah. Like, guys, check this shit out. <sighs> I didn't realize how non classy martinis are. I didn't. Did you guys know it was just that? No. So the only martini I've ever had is my sister made me an espresso martini about circa 2022. Way different. My brother got one. Taste. That one tastes. I like it. That was solid. Yeah. Yeah, Those are solid. That one's fancier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never had a straight up martini before, though. It's literally just olive juice and vodka. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So what's a dirty martini? It's just just more olive juice. I think think it's 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 a different alcohol. I don't think so. I think it has to do with the amount of... Because I, I don't know how it's considered a martini. Cause Go up. Vermouth. Yeah, vermouth. Oh, okay. Which I don't know what it is. Let's Google vermouth. I, I just was completely shocked and completely under... I'm going to be honest. It tasted good because I love olives and I love olive mm. juice. See, that's the main reason I've never tried one because I fucking hate olives and olive juice. Yeah. So do you? Do you it just was like I was expecting like a fun palette of flavor and sophistication in it, and then I was like, I feel there's nothing. That's like not that far off from a beer and a spear. Correct. That's what. <laughs> that's where my head yeah. goes. I mean, so I don't know. It's a regular martini have vermouth in it. Am I missing that? Is it? Is there more than just? Olive juice and vodka. Can someone explain to me what vermouth is? It's an alcohol. Like it is, is okay. It, yeah, it's like, like is a, it kind of like a yeah. It's thicker. It's like uh like sake almost. Sure. Like a it's in between a wine and a spirit. Yeah. This one says there's no olive juice in it at all. Interesting. <laughs> Does vermouth just taste like olive juice? It's vermouth and vodka. I, what do I Google? <laughs> Am I now wrong again? <laughs> All it tastes okay. That's what it tastes like to me. I know there there is olive juice in martinis. Okay. That's why they there put is, the olive up, in. Go yeah. up and yeah. and type in martini olive juice. Because when I bounced, at, I bar backed and bounced at a bar. And when they would make martinis, they would dump olive juice straight from the olive jar into the martini. A yeah, dirty martini olive juice. I don't know. So we don't know. <laughs> that maybe and maybe that's so. It must be vodka, vermouth, and olive brine. It was is what it says, which just must mean that's olive juice. Olive juice. OJ. So there's a little bit of vermouth. <laughs> yeah. Can I, I get a vodka OJ? No. What the <laughs> fuck is this? I want an olive juice. Yeah, vodka olive juice. No. <laughs> uh, Regardless, so I missed the vermouth part of it. It's still the most underwhelming, sophisticated drink I've ever had. So is it, does the, does, does just the glass itself make it sophisticated? I, I, you're probably onto something. It's, I that. mean, it, it looks sweet to drink. We could, you could just, I mean, you could just buy a it's bottle okay. of vodka, just drink, you could just drink it out of the bottle of vodka mm-hmm. and then just like take a swig of olive juice. That's a, technically a martini. Yeah, pull and chase. Well, but there's that's also a, vermouth though, we found out. Oh, uh, uh, Vermont. Pull, yeah, Vermont. Pull, pull, chase. Vodka vermouth. Got can't pulling, swallow either. Pulling vermouth yeah. would be. <laughs> Ryan, what are you sipping on there? I see you got something in your hand. What's that? Is it a martini? Only the wettest water on planet Earth. Oh, so it's a ice mountain martini. Which ice the mountain, ingredients are water, glacier, cataclysmic event. All combined. And love. And love for... The wonderful, beautiful, crisp taste of Ice Mountain. <laughs> yeah, the ingredients-wise, you're exactly right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can argue about. with that. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Ryan, I can't tell you how refreshing it is to suck down an Ice Mountain after a martini. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. We got to, <laughs> hey, for Friday, Patreon, we got to make sure we have mar- uh, Ice Mountains on deck. Yeah, I'm, instead Brian. of Olive Brine, I might do Ice Mountain Brine. That's good. I bet that is good, actually. <laughs> also, the squirt bottles kind of makes you feel like a hockey player. Do it. Let's see it. <laughs> That's Mike's special stuff. Oh, Mike's super secret stuff was actually just ice mountain. Yeah. yeah. Space Jam. <laughs> yeah. This is the official water of the Toon Squad. Yeah, yeah. we were running the ice mountain t- TikTok account. We would just 
paste the Ice Mountain logo over the Mike Super <laughs> Secret stuff. Yeah. That's all it is. When so, like when someone says like, oh, that guy's got to be on the juice. They're not referring to steroids. They're literally the guys that literally just been drinking <laughs> yeah. Ice Mountain. I mean, what's the difference? That's, I guess. He's, he's that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a legal performance enhancer, is what it is. Yeah, it, it, I mean it. It's not it's get a, around any drug test. Ice Mountain, <laughs> Ice Mountain is a PED performance enhancing drink. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's what Bones <laughs> Jones drinks. Ice Mountain right before osmosis a fight. Osmosis Jones probably <laughs> drinks it too. Yeah, osmosis is like, isn't that? I, like, yeah, yeah. Well, they do reverse osmosis to filter it out. I'm Who's sure. reverse? But Ice Mountain doesn't even need reverse osmosis because it's just mm-hmm. that good. It's that pure, it's that PED, performance enhancing drink. So, guys, <laughs> if you'd like to be on PEDs, just like Ryan and I are, <laughs> go to icemountainwater.com. <laughs> That's icemountainwtr.com. Get yourself some PEDs, performance enhancing drinks, Ice Mountain, 100% recycled. So, Regardless of vermouth or no, it still, I could not believe it. We, yeah, my life things that I learned alarmingly late in life that that's all a martini is. So, does the vermouth it does bring it up a notch though, a little bit in the fancy department? Because if it was just vodka and olive juice, absolutely not fancy at all. The vermouth does bring it up a tick, it does bring it up a tick, but taste wise. I just couldn't believe it. I've I've never had a I've never had a dirty martini. I've only had the espresso martini. Yeah, same. We should do for Patreon. We should do martinis. It is martini season. <laughs> <laughs> is that right yeah. in between frozen concoction and whiskey season? It's very mm-hmm. brief. It's like what is it? It's frozen concoction. I think you said beer be- last time. Beer yeah. outside. No, <laughs> yeah. it's beer outside. Beer outside then yeah. whiskey. I think. In between frozen concoction and beer outside season, it's martini season. Mm. Yeah, I think martini is a good Christ- like Christmas type drink. No, Late it's eggnog. Fall, Christmas type. That's eggnog season. That is true. You guys ever had an eggnog drink? Mm-hmm. I don't love them. They're kind of overrated. They, to me, they just are exactly what they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're perfectly <laughs> whelming. It's yeah. like this is exactly how I expected a drink we drink once a year. Yeah, <laughs> you know, if it was really good, we drink them all the mm-hmm. time. Yeah, I'm perfectly right. whelmed right now. Yeah, <laughs> yes, not right. over or under, mm-hmm. just perfectly whelmed. <laughs> you look, you look appropriately whelmed. <laughs> so we need vermouth, olive juice, and vodka. Well, for- olive I don't know, brine. olive brine. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's the verbiage that they use makes these things sound fancier. Which <laughs> did we- you? Did they get? Did you have actual olives on a toothpick? Oh yeah, the, okay. I sucked those babies down. How many did they give you? Three. Wow. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> they took one look at me. They're like, "This guy is gonna need a few extra." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his meal. He didn't get enough. Of it. <laughs> so, what drinks would you consider to be truly fancy? I would, off the bat, say old fashioned. For sure. Well, it depends on like a Wisconsin old fashioned ain't as fancy yeah. as a regular like. But I would say old fashioned can be fancy. Yep. Smoke. I think any time sure. it's in a different language. Like mm-hmm. my brother makes a drink called Vu Carre. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah. Fancy as shit. Cool. Have you ever had a giblet? Those are pretty fancy. Doesn't sound fancy though. No. Sounds like something you put on your crocs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, gimlet. Gimlet. I was saying the crocs thing. It's called a gimlet. Okay. I was gonna say it yeah. doesn't well, one crocs are fancy. That's like a gin drink that's pretty fancy. I've had one of those. Not good. I mean, I think any kind of wine is fancy, whether it's Franzia or yeah, meal you are or wine you bagged yeah. or bottled. That's bagged or bottled. Either. Yeah, <laughs> anything red is fancy. Mm-hmm. Clamato beer. I mean, yeah, yeah, a deep red wine is definitely fancy. Anything pink though, not fancy. No, you can't be drinking a rosé and think you're fancy. It's just so, not. <laughs> Wait, but in high school, like before I get to college and before I start my drinking career, I always thought champagne was super fancy. And then I find out it's absolutely not. Like you can buy a bottle of champagne for two dollars. Well, yeah, I but I, I can I, buy fancy champagne. Yeah, you can buy fancy yeah. anything. Well, so, what, so what makes besides? I mean, what makes champagne fancy? Well, uh, just like the you always is see it the pe- price. The price are like the champagne flutes are fancy. You always see people drinking them at like red carpets and shit. They all have a glass of champagne. Yeah. Champagne poppy. Yeah. 
people will buy a a thousand dollar bottle of champagne for their their private booth at the club. Well, that's because it's a really fancy. Bottle yeah, I just anyways. didn't realize that you could go and buy a bottle that's three three dollars and fifty cents and yeah. just drink it like normal. Yeah, yeah. Andre sure. is usually the go to. Yep. Yes, move. thank you, Andre. Andre, the cursive. It's I want to say though, I would have another martini. I, I definitely don't want it in my regular rotation. So but you were you weren't. Uh, if someone sets one down, I'm gonna be like, that's fine. You weren't against it then. You were just you were amazed at how fancy they're perceived. Yeah, it was like the shock value gotcha. of like what the. F- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what- this just tastes like, like yeah, like Dave f- from my dad's work would drink this. I, didn't, I was very shocked. Like if yeah, if you just put that in like a whiskey glass, it's like okay, yeah. this is just kind of a not very good drink. <laughs> yeah, but if you're like, hey, can I get a dirty martini? Uh, hold the vermouth. I mean, is that essentially just like all the flavor vodka? I mean, that's what it tastes. That's yeah. what martinis taste like, anyways. It's one way to find out. Just, yeah, it's just a it's a fancy way to dress up vodka. Mm-hmm. Just give me vodka in a glass. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever maybe suggested that at a restaurant. But if you put olive juice and vermouth in it, it's it's well, all it, of a sudden a eighteen dollar drink. It was drink. vodka in a glass. Didn't you just tell us a story about a coworker that ordered yeah, that? Dave. Yeah, Dave shot a gray goose, sipped it. Lake job. <laughs> lake job. Lake <laughs> mode. <It's> unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. For lunch, no olives even. Yeah, he was only two. Gray goose fancy though. He was only two it ingredients is. away from a martini. Why? It just also after I tasted it, like there's traditional like i would say it's traditionally a drink that females order more than males right mm-hmm. yeah i didn't get the feeling like this was a female drink well either. james bond shaken not stirred mm. he's a martini guy correct that's martini yeah 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 maybe he's- yours was stirred and not shaken that's why it sucked yeah <laughs> or it was whelming <laughs> yeah it was whelmed <laughs> yeah so in history there have been some of the manliest men that is true but James Bond wears a tux everywhere. Fancy. Fancy. Very. So it's like. Yeah. <laughs> was it the type of drink that you, you wanted to just get it over with? Or or was it. I mean, did you enjoy it? Well, yeah, no. I mean, a martini's it. a sipper, sure. you know. Um, And I sipped it until the end. Then we had to go and I just. Yeah. Straight <laughs> down. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Was it like a good restaurant or was it kind of like a. Not like a dive bar. Middle of the road restaurant. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you got to pick and choose where you order your money yeah. from. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dive. I was not, not the at the Sportsman's Lounge <laughs> in Clitheroe, <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah, I, they might need not even know how to mix that. Yeah, you know, like just stir it. it I know damn well mm-hmm. they'd have the real olive juice and not the brine mm-hmm. stuff. <laughs> brine bullshit. Yeah. So, yeah. I was shocked. It was uh, took me thirty years to have my first martini. I finally did. It. I'm glad I did it. Yeah, it's making me a person of the world. I also feel like thirty is the appropriate age. I don't feel your... like it's too late, really. Yeah, might agree. I just feel like though, if I had grown up in New York City, I would have had a martini when I was 22 years True. old. Yeah, I think it's a setting thing as well. Yeah, you're yeah. taking a picture Some with it on a rooftop event, bar. Too. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you haven't had a good martini yet. That is <laughs> true. That's true. That's very true. So Jared. my sister-in-law, she's had a few martinis in her day. She kind of gave me the vibe that was like, you just have, this isn't that good a one. <laughs> yeah. she. Might, uh, so now I'm kind of like, I need to try a really good, but also it was very cloudy. So. Oh, that fucker was dirty then. <laughs> <laughs> so. That tells me that they put a lot more olive brine in it or whatever or vermouth than normal. So that means that if you have a fancy martini like Mr. Mr. Bond, mm-hmm. that is, you're just drinking vodka Ugh. is kind of what the impression I was Wait, getting. So yeah. then Dave's pretty close. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how is this classy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can, you can. You can put you could put Phillips vodka in a martini glass and it would be you'd be fancy sophisticated. I mean, honestly, mm-hmm. the line between trashy and classy is blurred in some instances. I would agree. Give Tyler. me another example, Tyler. Like um exposed wood in your house. You could be 
broke as fuck and trashy as hell, or you did it on purpose in your class. Well, I think the distinction is, is, is it reclaimed or is it the studs? <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, well, the line is there. If it's a two by four lumber versus reclaimed that they ripped off a barn, which is also funny. Yeah. Because they took something really shitty and now <laughs> it looks really classy. Mm-hmm. Well, weird, weird world we live in these days. The wild world. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm one. A, a Dave Martini is just Karkoff. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the bar. I'll take the Dave Martini. I'll take a Davey. Yeah. Mar- I'll take a Davey. We'll just call it Davey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone trying to do some Davies tonight? Nope. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I like for my morning routine. I'm only one. I'm essentially only one shot of vodka away from Dave. No, fr- from a martini, an espresso martini. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm I, I could get pretty fucking sophisticated or in orange the morning. juice or OJ. Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> could you put orange brine into vodka and just it, it's just it's now uh they call that an orange vod juice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just put it in a martini glass. Mm-hmm. I know that's an office. Yeah, that's, just... that's the only one that I've come up what's, with. On my what's own. the button? We have a we have a uh top one. <laughs> That was yeah. in the perfect moment. <laughs> Still getting used to it. So, are we doing it? Sure. Yeah, Martini I mean, on Patreon this yeah, week. I, I, might, I might have to call an Uber or my wife to come get me here. <laughs> That's fine. Mm, sorry, I was texting grandma to try and figure out because I know her and her friends drink a fancy drink. They drink Cosmos. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's the cousin of the Martini. And I think that's like just one more ingredient of a Martini. Mm-hmm. And then it becomes a cosmos. What else is it? Well, it sounds sweeter though. Yeah. Isn't there like a hmm. uh, I don't know. Pink lemonade or something. Interesting. Huh. Well, I just thought I'd share that tidbit. Um we also could be way off base with martinis, and there's <laughs> yeah. more involved in we're gonna have a shitload of comments like you guys are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the martini oh, yeah. stands. Yeah. That's, oh, you drink martinis That's often? literally <laughs> what my mom does every week. <laughs> what if I see her? She'll be like, she'll just look at me and shake her head and go, sometimes when I listen to that You Bet Your Radio, I just want to scream at you guys because you're so wrong about stuff. <laughs> well, why don't you get a podcast then? Experimental. <laughs> yeah. We are experimental. We are experimenting right now with martinis. Or else I just, we're just testing listeners and we're seeing if they're paying attention. Right. A bush teeny, though, does sound pretty good or right about now. Yeah. A, bush teeny, a teeny bush. There's olives and <laughs> you know me. I'm kind of a teeny bush type of guy. <laughs> landing strip. Yep. Yeah, I'll take a landing strip. Like, what? <laughs> a teeny bush. What? A bush teeny. Uh, a what? bush martini. <laughs> bush and olive brine. <laughs> bush and olive juice. The part that are so got it. <laughs> God, figure so it out. So many layers. <laughs> Could you do vodka with uh, pickle juice? Pickle brine? I don't know what that is. I mean, you absolutely could. They make a pickled vodka. I know some yeah. do. Well, yeah, we had one on the podcast before. Then give me a give me a couple pickle spears on the. Uh, yeah. But for some pick. reason, olives are fancy and pickles are trashy. Yeah. Are are baby pickles trashy or are those fancy? Those are trashy. They they yeah. make them with uh, mainly with green olives or black olives. Green typically. Imagine a martini with black olives. <laughs> it just it just. Because the juice yeah. of black olives, I think, is like also really dark. Oh, so that'd be an extra that would not dirty taste. Martini. I don't think that. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that would taste good at all. I mean, there's a reason they don't do it. They've tried, they've tried it. They've tried everything. <sighs> I'm down Friday. You guys want to do it Friday? Mm-hmm. Patreon. Okay. Mar- well, we have one week of martini season. Then it's <laughs> beer, cold beer outside season, and then it's whiskey season. So, and I think whiskey season's. November 10th is what we decided last year. Mm. <laughs> what was mm-hmm. it again? I think it was November 10th. No, wasn't it the week after deer opener? Oh, we had it was, some it was the Thursday yeah, I think it was the during 10th. deer opener. And deer opener last year was maybe on like the 5th, 4th or 5th. It was Something early. Like that. It's a fluid holiday. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to uh-huh. do some research. Because we wanted to make it like Thanksgiving. Like it's the this day in this month. Because it's got to be before Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah, I'll bust open the books and look look yeah. at it. The archive. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. I'd say it's probably about 50 weeks ago. <laughs> Just that helps <laughs> me. But thanks. That we discussed that. 50 episodes. 
mm-hmm. martini season. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you lick my hiney asks. You want a question right now, or should we take a break? How long have we been going? Um, question. We can do at least one. All right. Um, you lick my hiney asks. You lick. If aliens were to land in the Midwest and say, "Show me your way of life," what are you going to show them? I'm going to take them to a small town bar, easy mm-hmm. peasy. Then I'm going to take them to a potluck at a church, and I think we got the whole Midwest covered. I, I'm going to start. What are we missing? Meat raffle. Yeah. Bar. I mean, so yeah, small, yeah, town, small bar. town bar Friday. Meat raffle. I'm going to start it extremely Midwest and be like, "Well, what do you want to see?" And just not make a decision <laughs> for them. Yeah, that is true. What about you, Ryan? Uh, I mean, I'm probably uh, fall time's great because harvest is going on. I feel like that encapsulates mm-hmm. the Midwest pretty well. Yep. Uh, but yeah, meat raffle, harvest time. Um, take them hunting, maybe. Yeah, take yeah. just take them out, let them walk for walk for dish chickens. Yeah, I think I'd take them pontooning with your in laws. Yep. Yeah, that's that's that'd be good. Well, then, I mean, the only thing you'd see is water. <laughs> the entire trip. You meet Midwest it's experience. Right? <laughs> Get a solid eight hours in. Yeah, well, it would be kind of funny, though. Uh, you take him deer hunting, and you're both sitting in the stand with his alien, and you pull up your rifle to shoot a deer <laughs> or your bow, and he just pulls out a plasma gun. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. blows a uh, hole hey, in the hey, side hey, of the deer. Hey, sorry. This is only a, sh- a shotgun only zone. <laughs> He's like, oh, I got yeah. one of those, too. It's a fucking plasma shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the one you play with on Halo, the big like plasma yeah. sword. Ne- He's got, <laughs> a, a, ne- he's got a needler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spraying. Yeah. <laughs> that's what i would do yeah um because if you go to the church potluck you're gonna hit you're gonna have the conversation this alien's gonna have with all the sweet old ladies that are gonna just give them the full full <laughs> tour of everything teach them how to play bridge bridge <laughs> they're gonna teach them how Pinochle. to make a hot dish yeah. without even this alien even be able to speak english they'll teach them all that mm-hmm They'll get so bored and they want to leave right away. Yeah, then we don't have to worry about invasion. <laughs> uh, speaking of um, like church potlucks, have you guys ever had lutefisk? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what lutefisk is? Yeah, it's a fish. It's cod. It's cod that's uh, like soaked in lye. Yeah, it's like fermented almost. Yeah, they come in like little like tin cans that you roll back, or is those sardines? Oh, those that's sardines. sardines. Yep, yep. yep. Um, I feel like I've had it. I just don't remember it. It's not good. Yeah, we're at we we're at Paradiso the other night for my my grandpa's birthday, and um, which is a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, he was he was making a huge stink about how uh, plate of lutefisk at church potluck twenty five bucks these days. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. That does seem it, 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 He it wouldn't even get him to go to the church potluck to yeah. have lutefisk, and he's Isn't the, the point biggest of the fan. potluck is you don't gotta pay. Well, it's like it it may not be. It's like. The main dish is what you pay for, and then everything. It's like you you bring your own side or whatever. It's just it's a big side of pot side potluck. I don't know, but it's twenty five bucks for a plate of lutefus now, and he was all up in arms. I mean, that is kind of outrageous. I don't understand. It's a potluck. Maybe it's a situation where like all of the the hosts are all bringing a dish, and then guests show up to buy. Yeah, potluck's free. Lutefisk is extra. Almost like like a like a fireman pancake feed situation. That was good, Jared. (laughs) Fuck. Anyways, I just had to share that. Thought it was, yeah. if that's the worst thing in the world, that inflation the these days yeah. is getting all the way down to the lie covered fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Alex Smith asks, "What do you think you could se- successfully hunt and kill with a slingshot?" Mm. Not a bird. I tried <laughs> <laughs> this morning. No, like as a kid, we went. We actually were in your. Uh, puke zone for your kid in like the rapid city custer area as kids going to mount rushmore we stayed at a cabin in the woods and we bought some slingshots at the gift shop nice down the road well actually i shouldn't say birds we were shooting at bats we thought were birds (laughs) and we didn't hit a single one so i did it would it, it could not be a flying object, I don't think. I don't think I have the chops for that. I think I think a duck, but I think a duck would be pretty easy. <laughs> when it, right when it's about to land? Well, it's just when it's just sitting on the water. True. Ground and bound. Yeah. yeah. Especially a coot. A coot's not going to fly away from you. So, And there's going to be 50 of them in one area. I had a, a wrist rocket slingshot growing up, and I tried to kill everything. And the things that I successfully killed uh, were a smaller bunny rabbit, probably a year old. Uh, I think we call those bunnies. Yes. <laughs> Uh, killed a bunny. I've killed a squirrel, and I've killed like a 
like a blackbird, not like a full on crow, but the mini version of that off of like a telephone wire. You put some time in. Dude, I, we weren't, <laughs> weirdly enough, we weren't like allowed in the house. Like it was, we were forced to go play outside. So I just would shoot shit with my. What'd you shoot him with? Just rocks? Uh, you, every wrist rocket comes with like a sack of marbles, basically like little steel balls. Those are gone. Those are gone quick. So then yes, you switch to rocks. Sure. What kind of rock are you looking for in that slingshot? So you want to have something that kind of fills out. I don't know what you'd call it, but like the little leather strap part that the can, pocket, the pocket. Uh, you want something that sticks out on either side, the top and the bottom, but not too far. Mm. So so round, uh, more oblong, actually, like almost oval shaped. OK, so then it. Then you can get a good grip on it. You can get it all the way back. Sure. And then it flies pretty damn straight. Do you ever do like a cluster of P rock? Uh, and it's like, it's just like a bunch of shrapnel yeah. flying through the air. The clusters don't work great. Kind of like shooting a shotgun shell. Um, but weirdly enough, what works really well in a wrist rocket is an actual arrow from a bow and arrow. Because if you rest it in the Y of the slingshot and pull it back. It shoots pretty damn straight still. That sounds super scary that 10 year old Tyler's walking <laughs> around with an arrow and a slingshot. You, sh- you were shooting arrows out of the wrist rocket? Oh, yeah. Got to start over. I mean, we had like 3D damn, targets in no, the backyard for practicing. That's actually kind of sick. It was fun. I mean, that's one part of my childhood I definitely don't regret. That was yeah. a blast. <laughs> what other parts of your childhood do you regret? I, I already did it on Patreon. I watered <laughs> it. Water pipe. Oh yeah, yeah. hang on a water yeah. pipe. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably regrettable. It was. Um, let's see. Oh, I got one. Where's it go? Here it is. Mike Oxbig asks, looking to change looking to change careers. What's the best trade to get into? City work, government work. Well, you got to pick the right government work because government work usually equals angry citizens you got to deal with. Yeah. So that's, I don't know if I'd go with that. Be like an, a county electrician. Yeah, my buddy, he's got a government job electrician. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, he's got it's three months of PTO. I think he gets like four months <laughs> that's of shocking. Pa- paternity leave. <laughs> <laughs> Makes really good money. It's, yeah, he's, he doesn't work Fridays, Monday through Thursday. So there I think we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he probably doesn't have to work with anyone else either. Really. Not usually. He's like maybe at a substation. There's maybe some one other person at a substation with him. Hey, he's chilling. As long as you don't get your wires crossed, I think you'll be good in that profession. <laughs> but ACDC can play. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know. That else. seems pretty legit. I was going to say some higher end trade like that seems like a good. I don't know. You uh, make concrete sound pretty fun. <laughs> You you got to be in a wheelchair when you're 60. Yeah, I do concrete <laughs> work. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that. It's probably deterring more people to be laborers in that. So and I'm the problem that my dad is currently. Yeah, having, yeah, yeah. So. You're actually hurt, you're hurting your dad's business it's right now. Awesome. <laughs> hey, go work for Miles's dad if you're looking for the best trade to get into. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get any direction, but. <laughs> Good vibes at the job site. Yeah. As long as you get past the initial bad vibes. Right. And you have good <laughs> stories forever. Yeah. As long as you ignore all the bad vibes, it'll be good vibes and, only. And yeah. Dave is retired, but he'll be back. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll get to meet Dave. Yeah. You, you just got to pass a drug test, background check. Um, I don't think you. If you have a pulse, <laughs> you are hired. <laughs> nice. So yeah, uh, DM us. We'll get you an application. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone know, in the yeah. Fargo area wants to work for my dad, let me know. He is <laughs> looking for help. Get yeah. three months, uh, two and a half fish, three months off in the winter. Yeah. That ain't bad. Bad gig. Yeah, that's a good time to go ice fishing. Yep. Ice fishing, snowmobiling. Mm-hmm. The whole nine. Yeah, if you got your parents living in Arizona, go visit them in the winter. Mm-hmm. Guilt free. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Um, you can go visit flops down there too. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can actual drop, drop advice: definitely pick a trade where you get winners off. Yeah, uh, electrician, you gotta work year round. You guys ever seen seen those articles where like you can make this much money from just watching Netflix series at home? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Do people actually do that? Professional reviewers, or like the 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 big thing when I was in college was like 
um, taking surveys and just getting mm-hmm. fucking filthy rich. <laughs> I'm just taking the survey. I, I think I looked into it one time and I I don't know, you get like 60 cents a survey mm-hmm. and some of them take like 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, no. I thought you were being, being serious that you made a bunch of money. I was like, that's not my experience. <laughs> no, but everyone who talked about it or was like trying to promote this whole survey deal was like, you get filthy rich off of it or you sell like isogenics or something. Um, I had someone like a close family friend almost get me into a fucking... Not a pyramid scheme, an upside down funnel uh, business strategy strategy sure. for selling fish oils. I mean, what was it, Melaleuca? Sounds I don't really remember. similar to a snake oil yeah. salesman. Because yes, <laughs> I'm a fish oil salesman. It's way different. That's how they disguise it. <laughs> one's a reptile, one's a fish. <laughs> Both slimy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I don't know. That's where my Make sure you pick a trade, though. It's easy on the body. Electrician seems pretty chill on the body. Unless you get electrician. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could die. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as you don't get your wires crossed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Red to red, black to black. Um, make sure that the power's off. Mm-hmm. Um, that one's, I mean, you're not having to, like, lift super heavy things, really. It's a lot of maybe ups and downs. Hands over the head, I don't know, but terms of like you're not having to carry big wood panels or sheet rock yeah. or yeah walk on a roof or anything like that so i don't know electrician seems pretty legit because plumber no, I'm, I've, that's shitty I got the it's answer. just shitty <laughs> you know be a pharmacist you count, a lot of school you count to 30 and i think you're hired <laughs> <laughs> that's the test that is very true. Ryan. One to thirty hired, uh, one hundred fifty grand. Depending a year. on how much investment you want in upfront, you have to go. What is it? Two years school to be an electrician, or uh, yeah, it's, something like that. It's, it's yeah, two, two years year. of school, and then you have to journeyman. apprentice it. Yeah, journeyman, and like you, you apprentice under somebody for I don't know how long. Yeah, and then you can become that. I mean, if you're willing to go to school for however long a pharmacist got to go to school, honestly, I that's a- not a bad gig. Mm-hmm. Get a cool lab coat, count all day. Yeah, I have a, it. <laughs> if you like, <laughs> if you like cars, I have a buddy who is a diesel mechanic who is doing very well for himself. That was a year and a half of school. Uh, the mechanic shop paid for it because they need help as well, and he's he's doing pretty well. A lot of grease. A lot of grease. You get to wear a cool jumpsuit though with your name on the front pocket. Lots of fumes. Yep. Don't think that beats out electrician, though. I feel like cars. Does. Also, I feel like every electrician I've ever met is wearing a Carhartt sweatshirt like I'm wearing, a ball cap, and some sort of Carhartt pants. Honestly, why do we call it plumber's crack? Because electricians have got it just as bad. Yeah. Them pants be sagging every They don't have time. to bend over as much, I think, is the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, their arms are always up. Yeah. <laughs> Working. But that's the, I feel like it doesn't matter what time of year an electrician's wearing a Carhartt sweatshirt. Yeah. Could be below 30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's really cold, it's hot out, they're all wearing sweatshirts. <laughs> Not a bad gig. Yeah. Plus, like, the only you- downside of being an electrician is there, uh, if you're, if you're at like, well, my buddy told me this, if you're at like a remote substation, a lot of times there's not bath, there's no bathrooms around there. So you may have to get used to shitting outside, mm. which I think if that's the least of your worries. Yeah. You're golden. I mean, Dave splatters the bank working concrete. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just hold it in. Eat some fiber. Uh, That's all you need. No, your fiber makes it go out. Oh. Want to eat some like cheese yeah. or something. Oh, yeah. 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 Cheese every, grilled cheese every day for lunch. Yeah. That's smart. Or charcuterie board. Yeah. All right. Should we take a break? Sure. Ryan. Yep. You feeling a little uh, like you need to go to holiday? I'm feeling. <laughs> Is that a yes? Yeah, that's, that's a yes. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, you might not want to go get some coffee now at 5 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday, but tomorrow morning, you and your uh, kid, which he, he can drinks drink coffee. coffee. He can drink coffee yeah. now. He's old enough. Yep. Uh, should swing on into Holiday Gas Station to get yourself a coffee deal. 
Yeah, we well he like he likes also like sweet treats though, so I don't. Hey, might well, not. we have a deal for you. What yep. is it, Jared? Buy any size coffee, get one cookie for fifty cents. Oh, oh no shit. kidding! Mm-hmm. W- one coffee, get uh, another cookie for fifty cents. So I could buy ten. Co- I could buy ten coffees and get ten cookies for five bucks. You got it. I think that's the math. Mm-hmm. Damn, Ryan. Does, does every once in a while, is your kid if he's running around the house just like trip and fall? Yeah, 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 plenty of times. But he pops right up, right? Every single time. So you'd say that that's one tough cookie, <laughs> right? Oh, that no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, wasn't the wrong I one. I would say one tough cookie. He can also be a little monster, too, a little cookie monster. Yeah. <laughs> but he's one, he's one tough cookie, right? So yeah. when you go into that holiday gas station and get a coffee, you might as well, you already got one tough co- cookie. She also yeah. get one soft cookie as well. Yeah, Ooh. buy your snickerdoodle a snickerdoodle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, a, and if you ask the the cashiers that, they'll know what you're talking about. And yeah. if you're listening to this and you are also one tough cookie, you need to go to Holiday and get yourself one soft cookie mm-hmm. with a coffee, and you're really gonna enjoy it. It's great father son bonding time for you and your tough cookie. Yeah, it's a little sweet treat. Yeah. So, guys, don't pass gas. Turn on into holiday gas stations. Get yourself some coffee and cookies. All right, Jared, we're back. We got some more questions from the patrons. If you guys want to ask some questions, go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio. Go to the Patreon app. Search you bet your radio. Subscribe. Get a free episode every single week. Mm. And if you tier up to the ten dollar above, you also get fifteen percent off of all the merchandise on the website, which the code will be on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Become a patron today. Yep. Um, next what do you got for us, Jared? Next question. Alex Chateau asks. Alex asks if Mo- <laughs> you did that wrong. <laughs> what? No, he got to go. We have a question from Alex Chateau. Oh, yeah. we we have a question from. No, 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 no. Say his we have name. a question from Alex Trotto. We have a question from Alex Trotto. That's what I did. Alex asks. You said, yeah, Jerry, you said that. Dude. I, I'm no, not, he oh, said yeah. Alex Trotto asked. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Alex asks. You said, you said asks. Oh, it asks too many times. Oh, say so Alex says. <laughs> we, have a question. we have a question from Alex. <laughs> Alex asks. <laughs> Alex, Alex. All right, let's Alice. here we go. Try it again. All right, here Clean we go. Slate. You got this. Alex Trotto asks. No, nope, no, nope, nope. We have a question from Alex. Oh, Trotteau. we have a question. Okay, yeah. we Sorry. have a question from Alex Trotto. Alex asks. Yeah. Nice. No. Yeah, you go. Don't okay. stop. Hop right into it. Hop right into it. I still don't remember how I did that. <laughs> if. <laughs> okay. Keep talking. If Miles and. No. Ra- <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, fuck. Button happy now. <laughs> oh, Just ask the question, goddamn. <laughs> if Miles, Ryan, and Tyler go trick or treating, and there is a pumpkin bucket, plastic bag, and a pillowcase, who's picking what, and how <laughs> will it be determined? That's a good question. I know what I used as a kid. Me too. I used the pillowcase. Really? I had a really? pumpkin bucket. And I have a fucking bang. Let's go. go. We got it. Button it. Let's go, dude. Jared, Jared, button. Hit the fucking button, button, dude. Which one? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I didn't have a like a grocery bag though. I had like the you know like the shiny like straight down bags with like the big hand. That's that's what I had. But I mean that sucks for you guys. You didn't have the candy acquiring capability that I had. And I emptied mine out in the van in between stops. And you know that your while. dad was sneaking that candy. You, you don't have full control of oh, it. Oh, he was making sure it wasn't poisonous. Oh. He was protecting me. Yeah. Dad tax, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Jared, what about you? Uh, I had a bucket. Like a little pumpkin. Yeah, you seem like a bucket kid. Yeah. Jake, what were you? What the fuck? What? Was I in the minority using a pillowcase? I think so. I don't really know many people who use pillowcases. Me either, to be honest. I thought you were going to throw a pillowcase on me just because. No, I was a pillowcase kid. That's like a great name for a rapper. Kid, yeah. <laughs> like a white rapper. Pillowcase kid. It's like a Wu-Tang generator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It drops a new album every like, Halloween. Yeah. Yep. Post Malone was almost pillowcase kid, yeah. but he went with Post Malone instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Tyler asks. No, nope, no. Nope. Another question from Tyler. Another question from Tyler. Tyler can't grill. Tyler can't grill asks. Uh-huh. Oh, burn. Nice. Did you right? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's normal at three p.m. but terrifying at three a.m.? Normal Chil- at what time? Three p.m. Children's laughter. Yeah. Uh, commotion outside. Yeah. Commotion outside three a.m. Unsettling. Commotion at three p.m. Yeah. Comforting. Yeah. Blink cameras going off at three a.m. Not ideal. Yeah. Um. Somebody mowing the lawn. Reverse. Girls Gone Wild infomercial at 3 p.m. is alarming. Yeah. <laughs> 3 a.m. It's comforting. <laughs> Flip the script on you, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't task it. Tyler, the grill guy, did. No, Tyler, Tyler can't, can't grill. grill. Oh, yeah. That's his name. Uh, What else? Normal at 3, weird at 3. Um, Terrifying. A knock at the three door. O'clock. Terrifying. Yeah, three o'clock's a weird. It's a weird a, time. A knock at the door. Three p.m. Knock at the door is right. Um, I'd say a parade would be terrifying. It's really <laughs> weird. Yeah, I feel like the purge almost at three a.m. Yeah, three bad. p.m. Normal purge at three a.m. Uh, gunshots. Pretty normal at three in the afternoon. Depends <laughs> where you live. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> it's the middle, three three p.m. Middle of town. Yeah, ah, just. Just Johnny over there firing off his 12 <laughs> desk pop. In, De- in, De- yeah. in Detroit. Yeah. It's normal at both. Yeah. It's like both ends of the spectrum in the boonies and the boondocks. Normal to hear gunshots mm-hmm. at 3 p.m. and in a really sketchy, very populated neighborhood. Also very normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In between, weird. Mm-hmm. Um, We have a question from Austin. You gotta say the full name. No, that's that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do it again. We have a question from Austin. Austin asks. Yes, you got it. I did. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's like riding a bike. <laughs> what are the best outfits to hide the beer belly during the winter season? Mm, great question. Carhartt sweatshirt, size up one. Don't know how I know that. I just have a gut <laughs> feeling. Yeah, size yeah, up yeah. one from true to size. <laughs> <laughs> true to size, size up one. Well, I mean, depends on how ba- how much gut you got to cover here, how much belly you got to cover. <sighs> because I, th- I actually don't, if it's a Carhartt, just go true to size because they're fit bigger. But if you got a normal sweatshirt, you're going to want to size up because if you're yeah. a big guy, you got to cover the belly. And if you get it big enough to cover, to get around the belly and not be too tight to where you can see the little indent from your belly button. Yeah. If you gotta if you gotta get one that's big enough, you then the sweatshirt hangs down so mm-hmm. low that it actually is worse than if you got one that was, you know, maybe a little more belly button indent, less hanging down. <laughs> I think people would rather have yeah. Yeah, you can't and you, if it's too small too, you can't have wind coming up from underneath. Yeah. Oh yeah. Around the like the belt area. Yeah, it's like a very fine line because also if like you're playing catch with your buddy and you go to raise your arms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your belly's whole belly's hanging out. That's also <laughs> tough. Been there. Then, yeah. you, then you like just have to do the awkward, like you're you're dancing at the bar or whatever. Your arms just got to stay below <laughs> shoulder. Yeah, you know that's never fun. Raise the roof. Yeah, uh, no. all all low fives at that point. Yeah, no know? YMCA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do like finger YMCA. Yeah. It's good I would be bar. like kind of edgy and cool though to do the finger YMCA. That is true. <laughs> Although I think that seems like something different. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Spell the al- alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyone ever tried that? Dude. No, I think some have learned a little too late in life. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what the question was. Hide in the belly. Hide in the belly. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, get a. Get yourself like a real flannel, not like one of those real thin, slim fitting ones. Get like a big, thick flannel mm-hmm. that'll hide it. Yep. Wear black. Black is slimming. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, especially in the fall and winter, having a vest over yeah. any piece of clothing makes it look like you're skinnier than you are. Yeah. 
Maybe put a corset on. <laughs> <laughs> Space. It's fucking, yeah. Yeah. fucking Ryan, will you tie me up? And I'm fucking, he's got his foot up on my back, just yanking that shit. He's like, you want it double knotted or no? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going out drinking. You're going to need to double knot that sucker. I'll leave a little room. I'm going to eat at the bar tonight, too, though. <laughs> Can you imagine if I walked into a bar like that? It's just corset on underneath my sweatshirt. Just tits just yeah. falling off the top of it. They, they gotta start. They gotta start uh, making like uh, high waisted jeans for men. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Well, I need we... man. I need man spanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where you know. That's the next move for men's clothing brands. <laughs> Have a form fitting thing underneath of a baggy thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really suck you in tight. Or just buy like one of those extra small like. Under Armour, like long sleeves. Yeah, just wear it on the knees. <laughs> Same yeah. thing, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> don't wear oh, those though. Uh, also, I was I, I just thought about this. There was always the one kid growing up in sports that would only wear the. You wouldn't wear a shirt over top of the base layer Under Armour, mm-hmm. so it's like the skin tight Under Armour long sleeve, no other shirt on top of it, and then he wouldn't tuck it in. He would just pull it down over his <laughs> shorts. Yeah, yeah, or like, or or like over his uh, like thigh pads. Yeah, it would just, it just be like, pulled down over top of everything. We had kids that would wear those shirts and then jeans. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then pulled down yeah. over the jeans, it's like over Hell their yeah. pockets. Yeah, that was a look back in the day. We all know that one kid I, who would I'm do it. Thinking of him specifically, yeah, and he always for some reason had long hair. <laughs> you know, it was never a buzz cut kid that was rocking the. <laughs> base layer over top of the jeans. It was always yeah. kind of a Dylan long haired fella. They're fast. They always seem fast. Yeah. Well, it's or they thought they were faster. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And their their muscles were warm from the dry fit. <laughs> Compressed as well. They should just make a full body, a full Under Armour body suit. Like they yeah, got like a Leotard type. Yeah, yeah. Full body though. <laughs> kind of like a wetsuit. Yeah. Kind of like how a do you, onesie, because but get, then kids would just be walking around in that. How would you get? They would be it? wearing a chicks shirt. do that now. It's I just suppose, guys yeah, don't. I suppose. Uh, let's see. What uh, was the question again? Hide the belly. Oh, hide, hide the, belly. the belly. All those are good options. I like. I really like the corset. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad option, and history always repeats itself. That is true. Yeah. You text Ryan in the morning. To... You're like, can you tie me up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, give me an excuse to get a chase lounge in my living room just in case I faint. Yeah. <laughs> a faint couch. Uh, back of the hand of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Could ETA, time you coming over. Tie me up. <laughs> on your way in, yeah. swing by, tie me up. You got your Timberlands on today? <laughs> We're going to need them. <laughs> also, grab Tyler on your way. This is a two minute job. <laughs> I had fucking pizza last night. Yeah. A little bloated this morning. I, I, I had to just grab the end of the laces and just wrap, wrap, wrap <laughs> them around me. You'd have to wear leather gloves. Yeah. So otherwise, you cut your hands yeah, out. Yeah. Cut my hand. Yep. <laughs> fucking rope burn. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we have a question from Barry. Barry McCockner asks. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first. First name and then and then the last then name. The after. Full, yeah. Yeah, it's it's one name, it's all fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost whiskey season. What is y'all's whiskey of choice on the rocks slash neat versus with a mixer? I th- I think we've answered this before, but we definitely did last season. Yeah. Fifty but, weeks ago. But uh, roughly around fifty to fifty two weeks ago, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> um we could rapid fire. What's your Lowbrow whiskey. Um, I'm a Maker's Mark type of guy. What's your medium brow? Buffalo Trace. What's your classy? Probably Four Roses. I don't think Four Roses is classy. <laughs> to, to me, it is. There's it's a like a, it's got 18 the... bucks for like a yeah. liter of it. <laughs> there it's is all a... about what type of glass you serve it in, you guys. Oh, yeah. That's true. Remember? That's true. Uh, if I'm going re- like, I've only had Blue Label once. And it, I mean, it was phenomenal. So my my top of the line once a year is the blue label. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. High class, Johnny Walker, blue label. Give yeah. it to me. Scotch. Medium. I like Pendleton. Mm-hmm. 
And then lowbrow, give me some Windsor. Uh, Pendleton Crown, because Crown's a medium. I forgot about Crown. I've been drinking a lot. Crown is my high end. I I never buy anything nicer than Crown. Uh, My low end is Windsor. (laughs) I don't have a medium. It's just Windsor or Crown. Yeah. Windsor low, Crown Pendleton middle, blue label top. Yeah, I'll put I'll put Crown Apple at the top with blue label for me. Crapple. Yeah. <laughs> so, could crapple with that later. <laughs> <laughs> or creech. Uh and then for the other part of his question, almost God. never am I drinking it on the rocks. Like rarely ever. It's always it's a cycle between whiskey sevens and whiskey diets. Frequency of drinking on the rocks goes by tier. Highest tier a lot, lowest tier never. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You can't be you can't be mixing Johnny J Dub Blue Yeah, J Dub right. Blue Label with Diet Cola. It's like RC Cola. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, sk- yeah. you skimp on the soda, but you don't skimp on the drink and the alcohol. Totally yeah, right. right, right. I don't know, in a like in an old fashioned um Buffalo Trace for me is that's usually what I'm going to go with. That's usually like what the ho- the house whiskey is for the Manhattan or old fashioned too. Mm-hmm. Pendleton. I like uh, Jameson water with a lime. That's really mm-hmm. good. Jamie Waddy. Cool Irish whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Irish is probably, oh yeah, Jameson would probably be my lowest tier. Low tier. What's your medium? Probably like Pendleton or Crown or. I've never really had like a really good high class whiskey. Yeah, though. you just haven't had a good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Naderhood has a question. Naderhood Watch asks. Okay, I got it. You nailed it, Jerry. Okay, I'm making sure. Yeah, we'll let you know if you fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. My boyfriend is planning to help me fulfill a bucket list item by taking me ice fishing Ooh. with his family in Michigan this winter. What are some do's and don'ts for not only ice fishing, but also meeting his northern Midwestern family for the first time? So this is on his ALS ice bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the question? I couldn't think of anything after I thought <laughs> of that <laughs> challenge. <laughs> It was like ice fishing, ice bucket challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just reread it. Uh, my boyfriend is planning to help me fulfill a bucket list item by taking me ice fishing with his family in Michigan this winter. What are some do's and don'ts for not only ice fishing, but also meeting his northern Midwestern family for the first time? I don't fall in. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's a start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get freaked out by the ice sounds. Yeah. Right? It makes you look like a complete noob if you yeah. hear that. Mm-hmm. Or a, uh, a snap, crackle, or pop. Yeah, it's got a. It's also has a. It, the ice is expanding. It's gonna mm-hmm. crack. It's it's completely fine. Yeah, just don't look alarmed by it because then you'll look like a total noob. Mm-hmm. But also don't look like you don't notice it because then you're gonna look deaf. Yeah. So uh, there's a fine yeah. line between those two, you know. Yeah, if you're driving on the lake, too, uh, seatbelt off, windows down. Yep. That's the way. Actually, yep. Good advice. Mm-hmm. We like to get down. Um. That works. Let's talk. Uh, let's say he's in an ice house. Let's say he's in an ice house. What are some etiquette you guys think he should know about? Well, I, th- I think starting off, I, I don't. I don't think you can call it an ice house. I think you have to call it a shanty in Michigan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Depend. I mean, it depends how nice it is. Yeah, I feel like a shanty is big time Michigan. They they say shanty over there. Like we're kind of a hybrid fish house, ice house. So what is some etiquette? Watch your own bobber. Yep. <laughs> That's a good one, Jared. Um, Bring snacks for the whole group. Mm-hmm. That will always go over good. Yeah. And yeah, you can Lots never, of jerkies. You can never have enough frozen pizzas. Just do your absolute best not to get your line tangled. Because if you don't fish a lot and you're the one getting your line tangled all the time and your boyfriend's got to undo it, he will. And he'll do it without complaining. But yeah, secretly he's gonna hate that he has to untangle your line every time, unless you're doing like rattle reels or something. Then you should be fine. Yeah, I think another thing too is when you when you step into the ice house, uh, bend down like you're gonna take your shoes off. You don't really actually have to take them off until they tell you, ah, hey, no, leave those on. More of just like, uh, hey, this is kind of a good gesture. You're actually gonna take your shoes off in in the ice house. You do it's a that? nice thing to do. I've never, I've never heard done of that. that. 
There's a lot of people with with ice castles that yeah you just take your shoes off. Really, I didn't know that. Water. Jesus, you yeah. guys, you must be drinking martinis in that ice house <laughs> yeah. here. The overnighters, yeah. If we're, if we're overnight, okay, it. all right. Yeah, feel it out. If it's a super nice ice house, then do the foot shoe. Thing. Yeah. If it's like one they made in shop class when they were senior year, keep your fucking shoes on. Yeah. Um, if you got some tip ups and you're in an ice house, just make sure you're keeping an eye. Uh, yeah, and then about an hour in, yell flag, even though there isn't one, gets a laugh. Yeah, that time. actually is a good one. Yep. But even then, if the flag's not up, yell flag, they'll all mm-hmm. freak out. Then you're now one of them. You got them. Just Hilarious. Don't, don't do it too many times, though. Yeah. Then you're then, annoying. Yeah. Kind of like Jared's soundboard. <sighs> yeah, if you're, if you're using... Uh, <laughs> I was about to play a sound like that. <laughs> if you're using any kind of sonar, um, maybe just throw like a, throw a comment out there about the interference. Yeah. Hey, anyway, we can get this interference off of here. Uh, so if you're using like a Vexlar or a Lowrance or Markham, just be like, ah, anyway, we get this interference off here. They'll be like, ah, you got interference over there? Okay, well, let me turn. It, it's this whole thing where you know about, fi- about sonars if you're just asking about interference. Okay. It's acting like you know more than you actually do. Uh, also... Doesn't matter how big or small the fish is, get really excited anytime someone mm-hmm. catches one. It doesn't matter if it's a little dinker or a world record. Just get excited. It's always good vibes. Fish on. And I feel like this goes without needing to be said for most fishermen. But if you do catch one and you want to take a picture with it, make sure they have their arms fully extended in mm-hmm. the picture. Point five yeah. two yeah. is good. <laughs> get that camera real close to the fish, that body far behind. It'll look a hell of a lot bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a great advice for almost anything in life. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Especially dick pics. <laughs> Point five. Point five. Tip of it. Just the head of it. Just right in the lens. <laughs> we call that staring down the barrel. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to take dick pics. So I imagine it's the no, same it church, like different pew. <laughs> <laughs> shadows i think are a big deal um you're just reciting off the list of that one episode of blue mountain state yeah i don't know yeah i don't know what um probably bring extra socks just in case your feet get soaked probably wear boots or bring them yeah, wear yeah, boots jared, jared. <laughs> i feel like jared I jared I literally wore fucking flip-flops ice fishing <laughs> <laughs> and it was flooding too yeah it was not warm outside. No, no, no. But I had the shitty boots, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. Remember. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I remember every second of <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, your feet were soaking wet. We got flat tire. Wait, no, wait, wait. Good, is this, did he do it again in Mille Lacs? Yeah. Yeah. Because he, we did that whole group fishing thing, and Jared wore like the teeniest, tiniest boots I've ever seen. They were like Amazon boots that were like 50 bucks. They were bad. Yeah. I would say don't buy an ice house off of Facebook Marketplace for a thousand bucks that's been repainted. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably got life-threatening cancer mold in it. <laughs> unless, it's probably just another. Unless you want to throw ninja stars at it. Yeah, then target practice. Want to use a wrist rocket and an arrow. <laughs> um, Tess has a question. Tess Tickle asks, uh, <laughs> should toilet paper hang over or under the roll? Over, dude. Yeah, for sure. Under is... Serial killer. So hard to rip it off. You gotta, it's a whole reach around situation. <laughs> reach around. <laughs> I just, it just looks better coming over the top, too. I have zero preference. I know. I don't give a shit. <laughs> we know. Yeah, that was a pun. Thank you, Jared. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, over all day, every day of the week. Monday through Sunday. Any day that ends in a Y, it's over. Monday through Sunday. <laughs> You can't fold that nice little triangle and do it either if it's under. So you can, but it's backwards. Yeah. Also, if you go over and you were to rip it really hard, it rips. But if you go under and you try and rip it like that, it just keeps rolling off the roll. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you, you ever try to roll, roll up toilet paper from it's it impossible. not ripping? It's impossible. It, in haystack. It looks so sloppy. So sloppy toppy. And the next person that goes in there, like, somebody fucked up in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you better not be having guests over that night. <laughs> Something happened. That's why I was keeping extra roll. 
I got I got a closet in my house where I put all those re rolled ones <laughs> in there when we have guests. So That's you know, yeah. trashy, you know. It's like you're hunting TP. You use like yeah. use one roll of TP like every ten years going hunting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, been in the outhouse. You swap it out for the one that just yeah. got all fucked up and you had to re roll, and then you swap it out ten years later. And at the end of a lifetime, you hopefully get, get through it. <laughs> um. Tristan has a question. Tristan, Tristan McGregor asks, if you could choose any two people to fight in a no rules cage match, who would you choose? I'm fighting them. You no, choose to... any two people to fight. Mm. So I don't think you're fighting them. I'm coaching. I'm commentating. Oh, so it's 1v1. The two people we pick against each other. Yeah. Correct. Ryan, who's the biggest, oh. baddest motherfucker in the UFC right now? John Jones. I picked John Jones and Greg Marcus. <laughs> no, I see what you did there. <laughs> Jeez, Tyler. Um, someone sent me a TikTok, a fan. Greg Marcus is completely out of pocket. <laughs> Off the hinges or what? <laughs> he did a special little intro for the new Twi- Taylor Swift movie. Oh, my God. Wearing all the gear and no. making jokes. No, he didn't. Did he have his binky with? I don't know. I didn't get that far, but <sighs> it was a disaster. He's losing it. He, he, it's been lost for years. That's true. <laughs> um, What was the question? If you could choose any two people to fight in a no rules cage match, who would you choose? Ryan and the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Who who are you coaching? You got to probably. Coach, I'm commentating. Coach King Kangaroo up. <laughs> I, I and to this day I still believe. Ryan goes for the front kick, misses terribly, and now the kangaroo goes for a front kick, and Ryan now has a hole in his chest. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> there's anything anyone that has a front kick harder than mine, it's kangaroo. <laughs> That's fair. I'm I'll give glad it that. you can concede yeah. that. Concede to that. I'll give it that. What about you, Ryan? This is your this is your octagon. I know. I'm trying. This I'm trying to get your... creative with it, though. I mean, I could say like um, a fight I'd really like to see is John Jones versus Francis Ngannou. That would be a great fight, but oh, that's yeah. just like that's too generic. That could happen, though. Yeah, uh, probably not. Mm-hmm. But okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I know we don't get political. What I was going to get political, but then I decided not to. <laughs> oh. I was going to go Kim Jong Un and Fidel Castro. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, what, it's a no. There's no rules at Jung-un's all. Jong Un's going to be punching dirt then. <laughs> yeah, Fidel's dead. <laughs> well, but back when Fidel was in the Cuban Missile Crisis, oh, I was going to go back in the 80s. I was going to go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first ever octagon dictator match. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be electric. I would say like Donald Trump and Kim Biden. Jong-un. Be <laughs> no, I mean, electric. Put Trump I mean, and Biden in there. That's the, the I last I feel like debate. Trump would just yeah. hold his hand on top of his head and he just would swing yeah. and wouldn't hit him. <laughs> they both get gas within 30 seconds. Yeah, tr- uh, uh, Trump's toupee falls off in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> they grapple a little bit. His spray tans all over his opponent. <laughs> yeah. Their shirts are off and just have the worst bodies. Yeah. Biden shits his his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time out, time out. Diaper check. Shit break. <laughs> <laughs> Got fecal matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is the is there a rule in UFC if there's fecal matter in the ring? Do they have to stop and clean up? They don't do they stop when on? there's blood. Yeah, but that's a good question. I, I don't know. I actually have never seen fecal matter in the octagon. <laughs> Um, I, 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 I think there's been streaks before, but <laughs> not, works, not, not, you know, not, not your, yeah, tangible. Well, a streak fecal. would be fecal matter. I don't, yeah. So they don't. It could stop. be ga- just gas too. Yeah. <laughs> so still raunchiest fart has to just clear out. I mean, imagine like, like you get the nervous shits. Like imagine being a UFC fighter, the amount of time you would shit before a fight. Yeah. Our shit. I used to, before every wrestling match, get the nervous shits. Yeah. Imagine, every single one. Going hand to hand combat mm-hmm. against fucking KG KJU. I, mean, I, I think I would win that one. DJT against KJU. 
KJ was in really bad shape. No, uh, we had. No, uh, remember, we had the rap battle between Ryan and Dude Dad. I'd like to see those two duke yeah. it out. In the oh, room. Yeah. I got That'd a lot of money on you, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Drake would be betting millions on me. <laughs> uh, Jerry, what about you? That's a great question. I, it's like Brock Lesnar and like Bones Jones would be good. Phenomenal. Yeah, I think Brock would get. It's very one side. Yeah, it's very one sided though. Mm-hmm. Or Brock Lesnar versus or Brock Lesnar versus a bear would be good too. Mm. Like a not a big bear. Like yeah, a black, like a black bear. I think Brock might win too. I'd like to see Vince McMahon against Hulk Hogan. They did wrestle That's or Rick, yeah. or Ric Flair. That has happened too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, McMahon's wrestling wrestled a lot of people. Damn. Um, what about he like... wrestled God once? <laughs> God? He did. Yeah, it was a match. It was bad. And I can't. Did someone dress up as a, the Dear Lord? <laughs> no, it was like an invisible person. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> what? No way. They've tried everything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I swear to God. Did he lose? I don't remember. <laughs> I fucking hope. <laughs> It's no one, God. No one Vince, though. Vince would win. Yeah. He's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, atheist, if God isn't real, yeah, explain yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> Vince may have just even prayed to God, hoping he wins that match. Mm-hmm. And he wrestled his daughter once. <laughs> Stephanie. What? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that when she was banging Triple H? The yeah, that was after, yeah. <laughs> um... I would like to see Joe Buck and Chris Collinsworth fight. I think it would be pretty boring. <laughs> Maybe. It's a subje- it's subjective. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'd like to see them fighting and commentating their fight while they're fighting. Yeah. It might be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see Bruce. Oh, here's a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's a guy that just leg kicked me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, right now it looks like Collinsworth is gearing up for a hard right. Yep, that was it. Was a hard right, <laughs> right to my fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, they should. They should mic up fighters. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, that would be. That'd be kind of electric. Yeah. So I'm not like, yeah, yeah. I won't get <laughs> Where do they put it? I won't continue on. <laughs> just duct tape to the chest. Well, I think they would just have a boom mic over the ring. Yeah, get the get the uh, <laughs> get the P Hub video crew in. Boom mic over time. <laughs> Guys falling yeah, around. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it'd be a, if they were wrestling, it'd be a P hub guy that would get in the POV over his shoulder, is what it would be, Ryan. <laughs> Otherwise, you could just use a normal video guy, audio guy. Uh, well, boom mic from up above, you know, that's it's doable. Yeah. What else? They, you got, got another one? Yeah, we, got, we, got, we got one more. All uh, right. Let's hype this one up so the. Give me some energy. Give me uh, some. We have a question from Pickle. Pickle Tickler asks, <laughs> Yeah. Can you hit the nut button 20 times in a row for me? <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow. The nut button, the original soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> the room's covered. Full circle. That, that's how we're ending that's it? it yeah. That's it, baby. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just nutted. 20 times. Yep. <laughs> room's covered. Out of it. No All right, guys. Left. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio. Uh, we love you. <laughs> May your buttons be nutted and your, what are we talking about? Martinis be dirty (laughs) and dry. Cheers, Ryan. (laughs) No. (laughs) You betcha, yeah. Yeah. What are the other buttons again? There's only six. That's it? Yeah. Is oh, there one more? I doubled up on them with that oh. one by accident. So we have five right now. Okay. I like it. <laughs>